Hi, this is Max. How's it going? Good, I hope. So, we need to talk. We had an accident during one of our first videos that ended up in a blade not finishing its test run. And I keep saying I'm going to get back to it. Well, today's the day. I'm getting back to it. I actually had a completely different plan for this week's video. Stuff happens, results are different than you expect, so on and whatever. I want to revisit and rerun the original airfoil, and I want to compare it to a new variant. But what variant? I'm pretty much already out of ideas, so I think I'll get inspiration from other people's work. And funnily enough, another YouTube channel, Robert Murray Smith, recently created a video about an interesting modification to a turbine blade's leading edge. The modification is to make the leading edge lumpy, like a whale's flipper. On a whale, these are called tuber tuber tubercles. On my turbine, I'll probably call them lumpy bits at the front, because the word tubercle is difficult for me to say. Anyways, these lumpy bits at the front apparently decrease drag and increase lift. So maybe go watch Robert's video. I'll put the link down in the description. All right, we're going to test whether or not I am capable of reproducing the good effects of a whale's lumpy flipper on an airfoil. Let's see how the original performs before, and then we can compare the lumpy blade. Wow, that was way better than when it exploded. I'm optimistic about the lumps. The only thing that I'm worried is I've not done a great job modeling them. I did use Robert's version as a reference to get the critical dimensions. So hopefully, maybe this will work. Here we go. Well, that was disappointing. The original blade produced a power number of 0 0.6027, and the lumpy blade made just about half at 0.3147. That puts the lumpy blade in third, and the original airfoil within slapping distance of first place. I wonder if similar to the jellyfish turbine blade, the lumpy blade tends to work better in a thicker fluid. Maybe someone in the comments will have an idea about what's going on. And like normal, we'll probably have to revisit this one. So, curiosity got the best of me. I printed the original blade from Robert. Um, the airfoils that I previously made and tested are pretty similar. So I think we'll be able to see if it was my modeling skills or not. You're right, I'm being lazy. I decided to print Robert's airfoil without the flipper nips to compare. So um, let's see what happens. Okay. It does appear that the lumps don't impact power output in a positive way. We are again seeing an output loss of over 50%. So right now, probably don't put them on your turbine blades, at least not in this version. Okay, let's see how this changes the leaderboard. In second place, nearly first, is Robert's airfoil without the tubercles. In third place, is the exploding turbine. In fourth place is the lumpy airfoil. And in fourth place is Robert's tubercle airfoil. So to recap, we're seeing a 50% or more decrease in power output with the lumpy blades versus their non-lumpy version. Uh, take that how you will. I probably won't be adding nipples to any more of my blades. Oh, hey, Peter. Oh, well, that turbine just does not want to stay together. Lucky for you, Peter. Peter, no!